can't begin to talk about this great figure before mentioning its developer. Great Toys is a Chinese third-party brand known for offering an economic alternative to the Saint Seiya collectors without sacrificing too much quality, materials, sculpting and cost. To explain this in a simple matter, the cost for an original is three of these. Incredible, right? Great Toys gambled on the Rule 63, which basically means that in another reality for every female character, there is a male version of that character. To be more specific, the gender bender. This term is seen on cosplays. During my 14 years of career, many friends and cosplayers have done the gender bender of Karkumo, the Forger of Pain. This is also common on fan arts. It was here where Great Toys drew their inspiration for this line that they called Holy Contract. The package design is pretty attractive, with an original art without copying Bandai's brand. As you can see, this figure comes with the armor assembled. I am not a fan of putting these figures together, and the truth of the matter is that I'm lazy. Besides, these hands were made to forge pain. Speaking about hands, let's get cracking. It includes four sets of hands and six different facial expressions. As I mentioned earlier, this figure is based on a fan art. It doesn't have a canon story and not Gemini. So I decided to unleash my imagination and make up my own fan fiction for this lovely kawaii character. The legends foretold that an alternate multiverse the Golden Ladies appear when the Patriarchy tries to conquer the world. In distant times, a group of themselves, and not in distress, protected Athena, the goddess of war. They were called the Knights of the Pipi. Legends say that they could break big rocks and mountains with their hips and with a minute notice, they would do a night of fun. Tonight, the first of 12 holy ladies has arrived. Dolores, from the Aries constellation. The first idea that popped into my head was that Aries Mu took a cold shower because his water heater was broken. And like Ranma, he was transformed into a victorious, blessed dancer. But let's get real, this is ridiculous even for my standards, so let's try again. In an alternate multiverse, the Grad Foundation, directed by Athena reincarnated as Saori Kido, cloned her own empowered lady army, splicing the Golden Saint's DNA. In that universe, the Ares Knight died protecting Saori. So, Kronos, the god of time, sent Dolores through a time portal to the golden age of 1986, where she trained with the gold saint Ares Mu. Mu, the knight original from Jamir, taught Dolores his famous super moves, like the crystal wall. With this defensive technique, Mu can create an impenetrable wall with his mind power. All the attacks that clashed against the barrier would be returned to his opponent to produce a great deal of damage. Sagare. 
Just like Xion, this technique can be destroyed if it's attacked in a small weak spot. The Starlight Extension. It's Mu's most powerful technique. It utilizes a great deal of light that produces a big bang that sucks everything like if it was a black hole. Dolores is known between the 12 Golden Power Ladies for being happy, kawaii, jovial and positive. You can say that she is a pink fire gay Aries. Gay as in happy, okay? Dolores feels a lot of admiration and honor towards the Aries Knight. She considers Mu like her older brother. As a representative of the Aries constellation, she has a golden mask. In those times, they weren't so woke. The laws claim that only men could protect and defend Athena while women didn't have any right whatsoever to be knights. With their mask, the women would renounce their female side by hiding their faces. And if an alpha male sees them without using their mask, it would be considered an insult, almost like washing them naked. By this law, the female warrior had two options, kill him or love him. This is canon, by the way. And like I said before, definitely they weren't woke. Nevertheless, Dolores doesn't give a rat's ass. She would take off her mask just like that. After six years of training and numerous epic battles, Dolores gets back to her reality. Ready with Mu's teachings, she took the hard task of being the one to repair the myth cloths of the holy armors like it was always been a tradition of the Ares Knights. Just like Kiki, Mu's disciple before her. Another thing nobody asked for, but it's really appreciated, is this platform to put our figure. It includes the Ares Constellation logo. Let's get back to the figure. For all you little sickies, this lady knight includes uh, this face. <laughs> Kinda hentai face, if you're into that. Hey, I'm not judging. <laughs> to finish this off, I have some comments. First, the positive one. As you previously observed, this figure is well made, the quality is good, the paint job and the accessories are welcome, and it's more than enough to recreate scenes from the anime or make your own scenarios, because this is an original character. Not many negative things to say about her, but something did happen to me, like I said before, they had to cut cost, so it's logical that the materials were sacrificed a bit, just a bit. The right hand union for my figure broke. That's why you'll see in some shots some white clay that I used to put the hand back on. Now, take into consideration that I am a little savage animal, so just be careful with your figure and you'll be fine. Before my final comment, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Augusto for this lovely diorama. And I can't forget about the talented voice actress Seth Lyon. Follow them both and tell them Uncle Karki sent you. Aries Dolores is not an official Bandai figure, but I still highly recommend it for the exclusivity 
economic price. And remember, it's 75% less of the actual cost for a legit Bandai figure. And if you are a Saint Seiya fan and love exotic things, this figure has your name on it.